Hi everybody. In my last video, I did a flip through of a collage album that I created and I asked you guys if you'd be interested in seeing the process. Now I didn't have the process video of that first album because I didn't record it, but the second one I'm working on, I have been filming and a lot of you wanted to see the process. So I will continue recording them for you. So here I am working on the cover of my second album and I am using a golden fluid paint. Yes, golden fluid paint in the color Indian yellow hue. So I watered it down a lot because I didn't want it thick. I almost wanted the watercolor look. And I wanted to add some interest to the background, but I didn't want it too distracting from the collage pieces. And I was also going to be doing some hand lettering. So I took the same color, Indian Yellow Hue, and I stenciled using the Crafters Workshop stencil called Dramatic Floral. And it's designed by Balzer Designs, and this one came out back in summer 2017. So like I said, I'm just doing tone on tone, so there is something there in the background, but it's not too bold and not too distracting. So this piece that I got here, this just came from a magazine. I'm not sure if it's a teen magazine or if it's a Costco magazine, but either way. Um, here I wanted some, I wanted a straight border to go around my cover. And I didn't want to fish through all of my collage pieces to find all the striped ones. And I didn't have any striped paper, so I decided to make my own. So all I am doing is taking this hand cut stencil. Well, not hand cut. It was cut with my silhouette. <laughs> and um, I'm just, I took a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and I'm just stenciling on this pattern. Right. And I just repeat it in stripes. And I, I'm now that I'm talking about this, I can remember saying in my last video that if I had to do it over again, I would just take a paintbrush with black paint on it or a black marker and just simply do stripes all the way across the piece of the paper instead of going through all this stenciling. So now I'm going to take this piece of paper and I'm going to cut it into some strips so I can use it for a border. And I end up cutting my strips at a quarter inch.
I think I've decided also for this album that I'm going to have every page in the album have the same black and white stripe border. So it's good that I did a full sheet of this. Now I didn't um, record the hand lettering. It takes a while and there's a lot of sketching and erasing and erasing and erasing <laughs> and trying it over again and looking for font ideas and trying to come up with ideas on my own. So I didn't record the actual process of the hand lettering. Now these images that I have here off to the left, these are all from Mischief Circus. So somebody helped me with, um, somebody commented on my last video explaining to me that Mischief Circus is the website and if you want to call it the store, I guess it is a store because they are selling things. So the name of the store is Mischief Circus and I always say Crowbite Studio B and that is actually like one of the vendors, one of the designers. So it just so happens that pretty much all the collage packages that I purchase happen to be collage, um, Crowbet Studio B. So I guess that's why I was getting it mixed up because every single paper that I had had Crowbet Studio B on it. So I guess they're my favorite designer. <laughs> So that is where all these designs came from. And I'm just playing with, like just trying out pieces to see what I like, what's too big, or you know, trying to find the right color that I want to use. And it's all just playing. And it got to the point where I was trying way too many pieces and I knew if I didn't stick something down that I was just going to be at it for four hours. So it got to the point where I had to just commit and start sticking things down and living with my decisions because I would have been there for days. And sometimes you just got to go with it. So like I told you in my last video, I'm using Mod Podge, which I am not used to using. And on this one, I used a foam brush. I ended up switching not on this page, but the next page I did, I ended up changing it by using, I, I'm still using Mod Podge, but instead of using a foam brush, I just took a an old paintbrush that I didn't really care if it got wrecked. And so far it isn't wrecked, but I've been keeping it in water. And I know that that brush is for Mod Podge. So I'm not going to try using it with paint or anything. It's just strictly for the Mod Podge. And so far, it's not hardened on me. But like I said, I have been keeping it in water. And I do like using a brush more than the foam brush. Because I found with the foam, I was applying it. And then I think I was going over it so much, it kind of felt like I was taking it off again. <laughs> I don't know. But also, you would go through a lot of foam brushes because they dry up and harden up. Whereas with the paintbrush, you keep it in water and it's staying soft and you can just use the same one over and over again.
one thing I find I always add to any collaging I do is black and white, whether it be in hand lettering or in doodles, borders, there's always some black and white. I'll be surprised if I go back and look and find that I have a page that doesn't have black and white on it. I love the look of it and I find it grounding too like it I don't know it just makes everything I don't know to me it pleases the eye <laughs> but everybody's different in what they like So here I am going with a second border, if you will, or just adding to the stripe border. I want it to be a little wider. I guess I'm still thinking too much. <laughs> Maybe this isn't where I thought I had decided to just go for it, but I guess not. I think that's the hardest part in collaging is kind of trying to turn your mind off. Like you don't want it turned off completely, but you don't want to think too much like because you'll drive yourself crazy and you'll, you take the fun out of it. And for me, collaging is relaxing. So if I'm going to stress about whether or not the piece is right or if there's a better piece out there then that's going to take the fun out of it so sometimes you just have to commit and it's collaging is my style of collaging anyways it's whimsical it's not serious by any means and it's just fun so I mean it's unlikely that if I stick something down it's going to look horrible because the style that it is you can do something with it and worse comes to worse collage another piece on top of it and cover it up or paint it or doodle over it with a Posca paint pen or something you can always fix it one way or another so have any of you decided to make your own album and start collaging? Has anybody decided to give it a try? Comment below if after watching the video you decided to make one yourself or even if you didn't make an album and you just grabbed your journal or a piece of paper and tried collaging. Let me know. Like I said, it's lots of fun and I think everybody should try at least once.
I actually used to watch people like see pictures of people collaging and I for probably a couple years or more and I always loved it but I just I never tried it for one I couldn't find any images like I didn't like I don't know what kind of magazines these people are buying but I don't have any cool images like that and then when somebody I don't know where I saw it but somebody had images and they said they were getting it from mischief circus and it was like awesome finally I can get some images so once everything is glued in a place and the Mod Podge had dried I did some doodling sometimes I just like to trace the outer edges of the images I don't always do this but I don't know sometimes I like to and I also added I pointed out those little circles that kind of makes it look like the light bulb is you know like one of those thinking things above her head <laughs> so the quote reads creative people don't have a mess they have ideas lying around everywhere I have a lot of ideas lying around <laughs> Ooh, another thing before I go. I am currently in the basement, like my art room, and it's pretty dark and it's getting depressing. And my husband thinks I should move to the upstairs living room because the only person or I guess animal that uses it is our dog. He lies on the couch. Other than that, that room doesn't get used because nobody watches TV. So I am going to be moving from the basement up to the living room. Exciting. So I was actually thinking of sharing that with you guys. So again, let me know down below if you'd be interested in seeing that. And thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous weekend. Bye.